Ordering the parable of the vineyard, I'm the worker at 12, I'm the worker at 3 o'clock. Tommy's the worker at 12 o'clock. Carol is the worker at 6 o'clock. Matt's the worker at 9 o'clock. And, and Danny is the farmer or the, the owner of the vineyard. The moral of the story is that um, even you have you have to like get if you get something you have to respect that and when you get you get. Hello, I will pay you for working in the vineyard. Yes, I'm going to pay. Are you looking for a job in the vineyard? Yes, but how much will you pay me? Just enough for one day. Okay. Hello, young man. Are you, do you want to work for me in the vineyard? All right. Hello. Could, could you work for me in the vineyard? I need one more person. I guess you need one more person. Oh no! I don't think 
that she went there. I think that she went to the river. <laughs> she is there. She's not there. Treat me as one of your workers. Quick, servants, bring the best robes and sandals. Make a celebration, for my son was lost and now is found. What's all the commotion? The servant told him that your brother is home safe and sound, and your father was celebrating with the party. I refuse to go in. Your brother was lost and now is found. I had to celebrate. The moral of this parable is God is always lo loving and forgiving, despite what we may be wrong. Workers in the vineyard. Okay. Hey, Bridget, you're the hardest worker in town. Everyone's talking about you. Would you like to work in my fields and my farm? Sure. How much are you going to pay me? $60? 80 75 Deal. Okay, see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. See ya. Hey, Michael. Do you want to work in my farm? Yes. Okay. See you tomorrow at 12. Okay. Oh, are you, do you, would you like to work in my fields and my farm? It's a lot of work for only two people. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I will be there at 3 tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Isabel, how come everyone got saved that money when I 
work the hardest. Well, this is my money, and I can choose how to spend it. So I gave each of you the same amount of money. You're right. Thanks. The first is last, and the last is first. The moral of the story is God will reward you for the good things you do, no matter how small it is. It, do, it doesn't matter what age you are. Our, um, our um, skit is the prodigal son. Um, the mirror is that God will always forgive you. Father, may I have some money? Yes, you may. Father, can I have some money too? Yes. Thank you, Father. I'll use this very wisely. Yes, me too. Yes, both of you use it wisely. Father, I am back. I brought some things for our house. Fa Brother still out spending his pay. Good son. Way to use your money wisely. I have this money. I will. I will. I will pay for all the things that I want. I can use. I can buy treasure and everything I want. on the stupid stuff. What am I going to do? I, I'm i desperate for work. Hello, would you like to work for money? I see you have money. Please. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Shut the lights off. I'm here for my job. Okay. You'll be feeling my pain. Thank you. You're <laughs> This isn't enough money. I guess I should just go back to Father and ask for forgiveness. Father, please forgive me. I've sinned against you and I haven't used my money wisely. Please forgive me. Quick, Gracie, fetch your finest robe. Father, how come Brother spent all of her stuff on bad things that we can't even use, but but she gets the finest robe here, and I don't. She has she has been lost, but she has been found. Thank you, Father. 